DFI Net Wars uh, goes across two nights here at a SANS event for three hours each uh, for a total of six hours of competition. People take this very seriously. If they win, the top five winners are going to receive a Digital Forensics Sense Response DFIR challenge coin, and they also get their name on the website. I found a lot of individuals actually end up putting this on their resume because it truly shows that they are truly world-class responders and forensicators. One of the best things about DFIR Net Wars is while they're doing formal education during the day, at night we try to make this a go-to event by being able to have snacks and refreshments, beer, wine, and more so that the participants definitely enjoy themselves while they're competing with one another. It actually is pretty exciting when you start seeing people really get into it and then they are literally having to run out to the bathroom worried that someone else is going to beat them. And so you start to see the stress toward the end of the night, but it's really a lot of fun watching people get that into it to where they're worried even taking a five-minute break is going to impact their overall score. The SANS promise is that what you learn here at SANS, you'll be able to use in your job the day you get back. People are in class all day long, and, you know, the class stuff is intense, and they're learning, there's a lot of labs, a lot of hands-on. This is all about applying that, right, in, in a fun atmosphere so that they can uh, see their skills and how they use them. The challenges here aren't just a game. I mean, these are the techniques that they'll use in their jobs. I mean, it goes all along with the SANS promise. And we really live that. I mean, we think about it a lot. How can I convey this information in a way that people will be able to directly apply? Fingers on keyboard, making their security better.